For the H3 CCN Lewis structure, we have a total of 16 valence electrons. We always put hydrogens on the outside of Lewis structures, and then the carbons and nitrogens, carbons less electronegative, that's going to go at the center. So we'll put our two carbons at the center, put our nitrogen on the end, and let's put our hydrogens on the end right here. We have 16 valence electrons for the H3 CCN Lewis structure. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. Eight. We've used 10 valence electrons. And then we'll complete the octet for nitrogen. So we have 10, 12, 14, and 16 valence electrons. We can see the hydrogens each have two valence electrons, so their outer shells are full. This carbon has eight, and then the nitrogen on the other side, it has eight as well. But that central carbon only has four valence electrons. We can share these two valence electrons here to form a double bond. And now the nitrogen still has eight valence electrons, but that carbon has six valence electrons, so we're getting close. Let's take these two right here and form a triple bond. Again, the nitrogen still has eight valence electrons, but now that carbon also has eight valence electrons. And we're only using the 16 valence electrons we have for the H3CCN Lewis structure. So that's the Lewis structure for H3CCN. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.